Another round of rain and snow is ahead for the Northeast and the Ohio River Valley as another storm system is going to be drawing up some Gulf moisture and bringing some rain, snow, and ice to the region. Taking a look here first at our expanded view, we have a low pressure system starting off here in Oklahoma. This eventually will draw up some moisture from the Gulf of Mexico as it moves through the Ohio River Valley and eventually move off the coast into the Northeast. As this storm starts to move off the coast, it will be bringing in some colder air and bringing in some snow, especially to the interior Northeast. This is where we could be seeing some elevation-based snow mostly and some ice as well based on those elevations. Temperatures will be pretty marginal in those mid 30s, so watch out anywhere in the Northeast, besides mostly the I-95 corridor will be staying all rain, but anywhere else could be seeing some winter precipitation on Thursday. Zooming into the Northeast here, we could time this storm out. Rain starts to move into Western Pennsylvania here around midnight on Thursday and starts to slowly expand into the Northeast. Could be seeing some mountain freezing rain in some spots here, but as this storm starts to roll in, we see that snow starting to take over here in the Berkshires of Connecticut and Massachusetts, the green and white mountains of Vermont and New Hampshire, and very much going to be a major snowmaker here in portions of Maine. Even down East Maine could be seeing some decent snow totals from the storm. So looking back through it again, we have the storm coming out of the Ohio River Valley where those rain rates could be pretty high and we could be seeing a band here of very heavy rainfall in southern portions of the Ohio River Valley. As this storm starts to move into the northeast, mostly going to be a rain event up and down the I-95 corridor, but as we move further inland, we are going to be seeing a mix of either snow, sleet, freezing rain, or all of the above in some spots before a cold front will start to drop down and bring in some snow yet again to western New York, western Pennsylvania. So taking a look here at our rain totals in the Mid-Atlantic, this is going to be a pretty dicey event with some rain totals reaching up over two inches in some spots. This is mostly going to be with one band here that's going to set up right along the Ohio River, and this could be dropping up to four inches. I would not rule it out. Right now I have this area in a half an inch to an inch, but could be seeing amounts much higher than that. Uh, let's see here with those snow totals going to be pretty low on the snow totals, at least for inland northeast uh, records here. Uh, going to be pretty unnotable, but still something going on. Uh, could be seen three to six inches across much of the higher elevations of the northeast, but I would not rule out six to 12 inches here in portions of Maine, as this storm system is going to really strengthen off the coast and really start to uh, increase those snowfall rates up into Maine. Even down east Maine could be seeing some snow here, less than an inch, but still something. That's the only area of the I-95 corridor in the northeast that's going to be seeing anything, to be completely honest. Uh, most of the I-95 corridor are going to stay all rain. So here is my forecast for this storm. First off, in these light greens, this is going to be less than a half an inch of rain. Uh, not much going on here, just some Gulf moisture getting pulled up, but most of the rain is going to be right in here in the Ohio River Valley. Could be seeing a half an inch to an inch, but again, could be a lot more in some spots. Loc localized areas could be seeing up to four inches of rainfall. In this red here, very thin strip of red in the northeast, I would not rule out some freezing rain in this spot. Uh, we could be seeing just a few you know, hour, 30 minutes of freezing drizzle or a few hours amounting to a pretty decent uh, ice accumulation in some spots. These purples here, this is snow and ice. Now, some of these areas will be seeing more snow than ice, like inland Maine, those dark purples, that is six to 12 inches of snow and ice, mostly going to be snow there. And we have portions of the White, Green, and Berkshire Mountains going to be seeing three to six inches of snow and ice. And in those light purples, that is going to be less than three inches of snow and ice. So not a big storm system, but an impactful one at that. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and liking. And I'll see you guys again very soon.